When you shop at Costco, the rules are different. As a card-carrying member, you're probably paying a ton for benefits you might not even know you get. Here are some huge mistakes you could be making while shopping at Costco. Costco has two options when it comes to personal memberships, Gold Star at $60 and Gold Star Executive at $120. And if you haven't upgraded to Executive yet, you're missing an opportunity to recoup some or all of that annual fee. While it might sound a bit counterintuitive to pay twice as much for the same access into the warehouse store, depending on your spending habits, it could be well worth it. At the executive level, you receive 2% cash back on most purchases. According to Costco's math, if you spend $500 a month or $6,000 a year, you're looking at a rewards check of $120 and, in effect, getting your membership totally free. The more you spend, the more you get back, up to $1,000 a year. Even if you don't come close to that maximum, anything over $60 in rewards is money back in your pocket. As a safety net, if you take the plunge and don't spend enough in the first year to come out ahead, Costco will make up the difference by ensuring that first check is at least $60. So what are you waiting for? Go upgrade that membership. Spoiler alert, Costco's layout is confusing by design. They want you to get lost in their labyrinth of tempting bargains so you spend all the money. Think about it. You shopped at the warehouse store just last week, but somehow the layout is very different this time around. According to one former employee who posted on Quora, this dipsy doo switcheroo is no coincidence. I worked at Costco for 13 years. They purposefully move products around to different locations and are constantly rotating a certain percentage of their inventory to new products. This creates a treasure hunt experience as you shop and helps you discover new products that you may not normally see on your shopping visits. In other words, you're much more likely to impulse buy this way. More tricks the retailer uses? The fresh food is all located at the back of the store, so you're forced to walk past all those amazing deals and hopefully put them in your cart. Costco also forgoes any aisle signage, another effort to get you to peruse all the products and buy what you see. If you don't want to spend more than you planned, don't let their layout lead you astray. It always seems to happen. At least one of the items you bought on your last Costco trip is now on sale, and you're kicking yourself for missing out on the savings. The good news? There's a store policy that works in your favor here. The bad news? You have to stand in the return line to take advantage of it. But thanks to Costco's price adjustment policy, the wait can be well worth it, because the store will refund the difference between the price you paid and the sale price of any items within 30 days of purchase. When it comes to whether you need the original receipt, some stores require it while others do not. Your best bet is to stash those slips away for a month and check out the prices of your recent purchases next time you shop. You might be in for a hefty refund. If you're not buying gift cards at Costco, you're doing it wrong, plain and simple. These prepaid cards for restaurants, coffee shops, movie theaters, and other attractions aren't just a good generic gift option, they're a gift you should be giving yourself, too. But why would you bother to buy a gift card for yourself? Why not just pay the restaurant directly? Because you're leaving money on the table, that's why. See, Costco sells $100 gift cards for these establishments at a sizable discount, typically a 20 to 25% savings. Since you were going to spend $100 on movie tickets eventually anyway, you might as well just buy the gift card and keep the 20 to $25 in your pocket. This system makes sense on any goods or services that you use consistently, or even a one-off night out to a nice restaurant. Hey, nobody can fault you for saving a few bucks on date night. Although it might seem like a great deal, not every bulk buy ends up being a money saver in the long run. An entire case of mushroom soup for $4.99? Damn it, Costco, you've done it again. Not all grocery items last forever, even those canned, dried, and bottled. Take condiments, for example. While the six-pack of ketchup bottles might seem like a bargain, you have to remember that the tomato-based product only keeps for six months once opened, and one to two years unopened. Similarly, you only have a few months to use up that giant jar of mayo. Barbecue sauce only lasts about five months after opening, and some hot sauce brands recommend finishing a bottle within six months. When it comes to canned and dried goods, you've got a little more leeway, but there's a limit there too. Dried pastas give you one to two years shelf life, while white rice keeps for up to five years. Brown and wild rice only keeps for up to eight months in the pantry. As for canned goods, acidic products like tomato and citrus will only keep for about 18 months, while most other products hang in there for up to five years. When it comes to the fresh items, you've got to be even more careful. Unless you're feeding a large family, it's probably best to avoid things that ripen or spoil too quickly, like peaches or a tub of leafy greens. Buy fruits and vegetables that last, like apples and carrots, and take advantage of produce that can be refrigerated, like avocados. This also means the freezer section is your friend, and so are individually wrapped snacks. A ginormous bag of something will likely go stale before you get to the bottom, but tiny single-serve bags won't. 
For household items like toilet paper, if you have a place to store the dozens of rolls, go for it. But when it comes to giant bottles of bleach and bulk disinfectant wipes, they actually lose their effectiveness if stored for too long. So unless you run a cleaning service, that's probably not the best buy for you. The competitive prices on electronics is probably enough to convince you to buy your next TV or laptop from Costco. But when you make the purchase at the warehouse store, it comes with another benefit you might not know about, the Costco Concierge Service. This service, which applies to most major appliances and electronics, comes with two major perks. One, free technical support. Experts are available seven days a week to help you with initial setup and troubleshooting, and will definitely come in handy when you get stumped. Two, it extends the manufacturer's warranty of the product to two years from the date of purchase. Since most items typically come with a one-year warranty, this is huge. A whole extra year of protection free of charge? Now that's savings. As you wander up and down the aisles at Costco, it's hard to miss all the Kirkland brand products. And if you're skipping over them in favor of their brand name counterparts, you're making one of the biggest Costco mistakes of all. First things first, no, Kirkland doesn't always win when it comes to product comparisons. Consumer reports indicated that though less expensive, the private label toilet paper and facial tissues ranked lower than national brands when it came to quality. But plenty of other Kirkland products consistently outperform when it comes to both quality and taste, and in some cases may even be manufactured in the very same factories as national brands. Just a few of the areas where Kirkland can brag. The store brand has beaten Oscar Mayer in the bacon game, is one of the few imported oils that met international and U.S. standards, and has even bested Grey Goose vodka more than once in blind taste tests. Even Kirkland batteries, though they might not last as long, come out ahead thanks to the value provided by the low price. In other words, don't be a brand snob. You could end up paying more for an inferior product. Aside from merely telling you the price you'll pay for an item, Costco's price signs have a hidden meaning, too. You'll need to pay attention to get the best deals and, most importantly, to know if your favorite item is about to disappear forever. If the price ends in 0.99 or 0.98, this indicates a regular retail price and probably doesn't translate to any huge savings compared to other retailers. If the price ends in 0 0.89, 0 0.79, 0 0.69, 0 0.59, 0 0.49, 0 0.39, 0 0.29, 0 0.29, 0 0.19, or 0.09, this indicates Costco got a manufacturer's deal, meaning they can offer these items at a steeper discount than others. If the price ends in 0.97, this indicates your biggest savings. These are items that need to go and are priced at a discount. If there happens to be an asterisk in the upper right corner of the sign, act fast and stock up because this means that the product is likely going away for good. You just have to keep track of your numbers if you really want to succeed. You might assume that the prices of items inside the Costco warehouses are the same as prices on Costco.com, but you could be wrong. That's why it pays to sign into the Cyberverse and check the online price before you buy. Password, enter. Every so often, in addition to the monthly coupon book, members will receive another booklet of sale items, but this one is for online purchases only. If you don't get the mailer, you can check the current offering at the exclusive online-only page of Costco's website. While some of these items are truly only offered online, like bathtubs or sinks, you'll find that others are actually available in the store, but the catch is, even if you can buy the item in the store, the sale price won't apply. You never know what you might save on. Maybe it's $20 off a set of sheets or $100 off a piece of jewelry. The bottom line is, if you can afford to wait a few days to get the item, shopping online can save you some serious money. Here's the greatest Costco hack of them all. Don't pay the membership fee, but take advantage of the member benefits, at least some of them. As a non-member, you probably don't realize all the perks you're missing out on. Have a prescription to be filled? That slip of paper will get you in the door to get to the pharmacy, no membership card required. While you're there, you can also get free health and wellness screenings and even flu shots. Just want to buy some booze? In 16 states, you can do so without a membership. Just tell the employee at the door that's why you're there. Same thing even goes for the food court, but if it's located outside, you don't even need to worry about getting in. Even a regular old shopping trip is a possibility, as long as you have a Costco cash card. You can use it to gain entry to the store and even pay for your items. The whole notion of Costco is that customers save money by buying in bulk. Purchasing a lot delivers a lower per unit cost, but Costco members can access even more savings by using a little known option that's essentially super bulk. According to Costco employees, baked goods may be purchasable by the case. 
The dough for things like private label bagels, bread, and cookies arrives frozen at a Costco store, where it's baked and then packaged. Customers can ask to buy a whole case of the dough. Say, a plastic shell of 24 cookies costs $7.99. A case of 180 will run $34.99. That moves the per cookie cost from 33 cents down to 19 cents. Individual stores may sell deli meats, seafood, or steaks by the case. Just ask someone in the appropriate department. I feel so calm here. Conversely, one doesn't always have to buy more at Costco to spend a little less. Costco's rotisserie chickens are a deal at $4.99 in most areas. Costco tags also offer clues to more deals. Those deceptively simple black and white Costco price tags carry a lot of information. The two-digit number on which the price ends can denote a regular price a temporary discount, or a product that won't be restocked. A Costco membership card isn't just a passport to shop for bulk goods, electronics, and housewares in hundreds of gigantic warehouse-sized retail outlets. That membership also provides access to Costco's smartphone app, where a number of tools, benefits, and tips await, all of them designed to save dues-paying customers a moderate amount of money. Some items are only available from Costco's e-commerce division, which can be accessed on the app along with special discounts. Costco's app also allows users to make a shopping list. Not only does that cut back on the hours spent wandering around a store looking for needed items, but it can keep a customer on track to buy only what they came in for. Rotisserie chicken isn't the only affordable food at Costco. Compared to regular supermarkets, Costco also sells ground beef for cheap. Regular, non-organic hamburger-ready beef is sold in wrapped trays that vary by weight. According to a Costco employee on Reddit, those packages of ground beef are prepared in the store. Not wanting to toss the trimmings removed from steaks and other premium cuts, a meat department worker will mix that excess fat with extra lean, very low-fat beef that arrives at Costco in industrial-size 10-pound packs called chubs. That makes for a good ratio of meat to fat in the ground beef while also cutting down on waste. Costco customers can cut out the processing and mixing and just ask for a chub. Welcome to Costco. I love you. You can also drive down Costco expenses by using the store's credit card. Like many massive commercial entities, Costco offers its own credit card in partnership with Citi. The Costco Anywhere Visa is available only to Costco members, and because they already hold that card, they don't have to pay an annual service fee to the credit provider. One of the main benefits of the Costco Anywhere Visa is that holders get 2% cash back on all of their Costco purchases, which with big ticket items, large shopping trips, and several visits throughout a year can really add up. The Costco Anywhere Visa also provides rewards when shopping at many other businesses besides Costco. Members earn 3% back when dining out and traveling, and 4% on gasoline and electric vehicle charging. However, as is the case with any credit card, interest can build up if the balance isn't paid off in a timely or consistent fashion.